Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to integrate Sweet Alert in our ASP project. So Sweet Alert is nothing but a JavaScript plugin to show the messages. So we will be using that. So first, let us go to the Sweet Alert website and hit enter. You will get this. And here, you just copy this CDN link and go back to your ASP project and in your register.aspx you can see you have your bootstrap 5.js right so you have to paste it over here but when you are using this and we will have few more js over here custom js and during the checkout we will be making another checkout.js so instead of including all the four to five links in every page let us create a page where we will have only these links and include it in all the files so if we have to make any changes also in the future we will have to change it only one place and it will be reflecting in all the places so inside your includes folder just add a web form tell all js dot aspx okay and just remove all this thing and in your register dot aspx you have these two links just control x and paste it over here okay and here we need to include it just like how we have included this navbar copy and paste and change that includes all js dot aspx save and similarly for this css also we will be doing we'll just quickly do that add web form all css dot aspx okay remove all this control x and paste save copy this and paste change the file name all css dot aspx so now in this all js dot aspx we have given this sweet alerts cdn link and the next step you have it over here so you just see the preview you can see the message and you have okay okay and here we have the one with the icon so let us take this one just copy and you can see here you have four predefined ones warning error success info so I'll just go and paste this over here so this will be inside a script tag because it is a JavaScript code Control X and paste save so now we have not checked any if condition so when you refresh this register.aspx page we will get that pop-up so I'll just run the project and check and you can see here we have got this pop-up so this thing we just require only when some action is happening like when the user registers over here we are using the message box so instead of using the message box i want to show it within this sweet alerts pop-up so let us do that stop and we'll go to the register code so here we have this message box right so I'll just comment that we we'll just put a single quote in the beginning and that line will be commented so here we will be using the session session of status or let us keep it as message session of message equal to within double quotes just give your message that is email already registered and along with this we want to show the warning icon okay so you have here right warning so we want to show this warning icon so we'll go to our visual studio and give session of icon equal to warning and then we have it over here registered successfully so i'll just copy that and paste it over here and comment this just copy the message and change it over here registered successfully and the icon is going to be success so this thing is going to show only on page reload for that we need to redirect it to the login page or any other page response dot 
redirect function to the login page so for now we don't have one login.aspx let us create it copy and here right click add web form paste okay so once the user is registered successfully he will be redirected to the login page and let us include the css and js in the login page as well i'll copy it till here copy and paste and even the js copy that and paste save so here when we set the message email already exists so we need to redirect it so that the page will refresh and we will be able to view that message so response dot redirect so we want to redirect it to the register page itself say register dot aspx we'll go back to the all js dot aspx here we are going to check it with an if condition so if the message is set in that session only then we are going to display this so for that i'll just open a angle bracket and percentage symbol and again percentage and close the angle bracket here you're going to say if session of status we have created it as message right so you can see session of message session of message is not nothing then we are going to show this sweet alert and here we will say and if so that thing also we have to keep it within this percentage and angle brackets say and if save yeah so here instead of you click the button we will be displaying our message just the same thing angle bracket and percentage percentage and angle bracket and here you just have to give equal to symbol and give the session name session of message within double quotes just copy this thing and instead of this we will give it over here as icon save and now run your project So you can see we did not get that pop-up because our session is not set so now we will just register and i will use another email and then i click register so you can see registered successfully and this icon so this good job thing is static right for now so let me go to the register page so once you refresh still you are getting that we need to remove that session once it is displayed so go back to your all js file and once it is displayed right we need to remove that session so for that you're just going to use that same percentage and angle bracket and say session dot remove give a session name over here so I need to remove the message as well as the icon stop and run the project so we'll just test this one email already exists so we'll just register just put some number and email id just put this one which is registered in the first so register you can see email already exists and this symbol but this message is static right so we need to remove that so we'll leave that double quotes but you are going to just leave that message as null save and we will refresh we'll remove the catch as well so Control shift and r So it must be loaded. Let us just check. The 
let me click on register as you can see email already registered and we had already seen that if it is a new email it is successfully registering let me just register a new user it prakash sir phone email with at gmail.com and password click on register you can see registered successfully so let us just add that register and login thing over here so in our includes in the navbar.html so this we will just change it to navbar.aspx just say navbar.aspx okay because in the navbar.html we cannot perform any operation with the session so we will be using the navbar.html and just remove all this thing and just paste it over here navbar.aspx and we will be deleting this navbar.html file delete okay and wherever we had included that right we just have to replace that before that we'll just change this to register register dot aspx copy and paste and change this to login dot aspx and change the message to login and once we have made the login video right we will be authenticating the user after he's logged in he will not be able to view this register and login button in the navbar just refresh and show you so okay so we need to change that extension instead of html it is aspx copy that and paste it over here paste yeah so make sure you add that CSS and JS link over here also and remove this single things. So I'll go to the browser, refresh. So you can see right register and login. So once the user is logged in, he should not be able to view this thing over here. Instead, he will have a logout button over here. So even if the user tries to access it through this URL, so we have to show him a message that you are already logged in. So he will not be able to access the login or register page. So that's it in this video guys. We have seen how to show the session message using sweet alert in our ASP project. So thank you for watching this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.